This is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe Camping Stove and costs around £70. And today I'm going to be putting it up against this budget camping stove that I paid £7 for back in 2019. This might be 10 times the price of this one, but is it 10 times better in performance? So let's start with a look at the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. So this weighs in at 96 grams with a little bag that comes with it. And it's 83 grams without the bag. The arms just fold out. And then the stove itself just screws on top of the gas canister. It has a built-in piezo igniter. And the valve has got a built-in micro-regulator to keep a constant pressure. Um, so even when your gas canister is running a little bit low, you still should get a constant flame. The budget stove <laughs> comes under a variety of different names. The one I saw on Amazon this morning was called the Sandy Beach Stove. Price was only £8.99. This weighs in with the box at 112 grams, but without the box, it's 96 grams. And this just screws on top of the gas canister as well. The legs just rotate round and then you just pop the arms over. This stove also has a built-in igniter. However, there's no pressure regulator on the gas valve, so when your gas starts to get low on pressure, you're going to lose some of the, the flame as well. All right, let's get the first kettle on, see if the boil times differ as much as the price tag. We'll start with the budget stove. I have weighed each of the gas canisters beforehand to see how efficient they are on fuel as well. So there's 400 millilitres of water in there. Got it fired up. Start the stopwatch. You can see already that the budget stove isn't a big fan of the breeze, although it isn't very windy at all. But that's expected at this price tag. So a minute in and we get a little bit of action. Have a quick look at the flame. Would boil quicker with the lid on, but I want to see what's going off with both stoves. Hey, we're bubbling. Just write down that time. We'll weigh how much fuel it's used when the stove's cooled down. Right, the 70 pound Pocket Rocket Deluxe. 10 times the price. Let's see if it's got 10 times the performance. Right, I've let the pot cool down. Another 400 millilitres of water. Get this show on the road. Start the stopwatch. The burner's a lot closer to the pot on this stove. Less flame blowing around. We're a minute in, getting some bubbles. I'll have a quick look at the flame like the last one. Much more solid flame on this stove. Right, we're there. Yeah, that's interesting. Gonna make some better use of the water this time. Right, that's cooled down now. So 
See how much gas it's used. Do, do, do. Same for the MSR. Great, time for the results and then I'll have a few tips on how to get the most out of your stove as well as a few alternatives to both of these. So the budget stove boiled 400 millilitres of water in four minutes, two seconds. And to do that, it used nine grams of gas. The MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, it blew the budget stove away when it came to boil times at two minutes, 23 seconds for 400 millilitres of water and used only seven grams of gas in the process. So if you don't mind waiting another one minute and 40 seconds, you could save yourself 60 quid by buying this stove. In the long term, you're gonna use more gas using the budget stove over the MSR. However, you're talking hundreds of boils before you notice a significant cost. If it's really windy or the temperatures are really cold, I've had situations where this stove has not actually brought water to a boil. Um, whereas the MSR, Pocket Rocket Deluxe, you know, has always managed to get the water to boil for me. Simple things like putting the lid on the pot and using a windshield will improve the performance in this type of stove. So having a micro regulator like this one on the MSR um, is gonna come into its own when the temperatures start dropping to around zero. You might struggle to get any sort of performance out of this stove as it doesn't have a, a micro regulator and the gas pressures, canister stoves anyway, in general, don't like to perform in, in lower temperatures. So it's gonna be a no-no when it comes to the colder months for this stove. So the MSR might be 10 times the price, but it's not 10 times the performance, um, especially if you're just camping in reasonable conditions like they are today. You're gonna to get your water to boil or cook your food just fine with something like this. For some of the tougher conditions, you might wanna spend a little bit more money. However, I still don't think that this is worth the money at 70 quid. I think you're much better off at getting something like the Soto Windmaster, which is 42 pounds and it outperforms this stove in pretty much every department in my opinion. However, I do prefer the folding arms on this stove as opposed to the removable pot support on the Windmaster. The little sister of this stove, the MSR Pocket Rocket 2, is around 30 pounds, which is less than half the price and it definitely gives this stove a run for its money. So that's another stove that is worth considering. So I bought this stove back in 2019 for seven pounds. <laughs> it's 8.99 today. So it's still really good value for money if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a stove. But if you're gonna be camping in the colder months and want much better performance, you might want to check out this stove here.